Hi, uh, I'm Anna, and we're here at uh, Harold uh, Head Vineyard in Sonoma Valley, where Sarah and I get our Cabernet Sauvignon grapes to make our SNA, uh, Sonoma Valley Cab. Um, so we're here today to sample the vineyard. So basically, we come by and we walk the vineyard rows and sample the grapes. We pick a few grapes from each cluster to check the bricks levels. Hi, I'm Sarah and um, I'm here with Anna and we're here sampling our, our cab vineyard and the reason why we're sampling it is to, like Anna said, get a, a Brix reading. Brix is a, a measure of the sugar in the grapes and so we brought our sample bag. We're going to go ahead and walk up and down the rows and pick from various areas of the vines, um, skipping here and there to kind of get a representation of the Brix level of the vineyard. It's just an estimation, but um, what we're looking for is probably around 25 bricks. And um, it's also very, very important to taste the grapes as you're going down the rows because the flavor also will tell us if it's ready or not. Um, we think it's probably going to be another couple weeks. Um, it's obviously overcast here today, so the temperature's dropped a little, but we're hoping that in the next couple weeks we're going to bring this into Naked Wines Winery in Kenwood. Here we are at the top of our block. Um, our cab is situated on a hillside just on the southern end of the Sonoma Valley, close to Carneros and near the Gunlock Bunshu Winery. It gets pretty good heat, but as you can see right now, this morning is a little overcast. We're ex expecting a 20% chance of rain this evening, which is not helpful for our grapes at this point in harvest because it could uh, lead to mold and rot in the vineyard. Uh, so Sarah and I just sampled a um, couple of rows of the vineyard. So we walk from left to right, up and down. You want to, especially because we're on a hillside, we want to have the different um, sugars from um, the bottom part of the hill or the bottom part of the block and the top of the hill. Um, so now what we'll do, there's probably between, I'd say 100 to 200 berries in here. It's pretty good um, sampling size. So from here we're going to crush the berries and the juice that's, come, that's going to come out of it we are going to send it out to a certified lab and then they're going to do analysis and um, let us know what those numbers are. <laughs> 